small islands face a number of unique challenges. By virtue of being islands, of course, um, they're surrounded by water. And the issue of global warming, which is not caused by small island developing states, but which can lead to issues like our problems like sea level rise, can have devastating and very destructive effects on small island developing states. Issues like coastal erosion, issues like pollution of the, of the, 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 the waters around, around, around cities. The whole climate change issue. Climate change is not an academic issue uh, for small island developing states. It is a practical, everyday issue. A very good example, of course, is what happened here in the Caribbean last December, for example. Unseasonal rains wiped out in just one night 17% of the gross domestic product of St. Vincent of the Grenadines. And, of course, um, affected St. Lucia very substantially as well. But we have known worse than that here in the Caribbean. Um, we've had hurricanes here in the Caribbean that have destroyed upwards of 200% of the gross domestic product of a country like Grenada. Wipe it out over and over again. So these are not academic issues. Now, I know that the scientists have been arguing about whether or not climate change is real or not real, whether the science supports climate change or does not support climate change. But while they're having that very academic discussion, reality strikes at small island developing states in a number of ways. And um, therefore, for us it is a real issue and uh, we therefore need measures to mitigate its effects and we also need me we need to put, put in place measures that would equip us to adapt to the effects of climate change.